Texas tonight is among the states where hospital space continues to be a major concern. Texas broke another record, in fact, 12,961 people in hospitals right now in the state suffering from the virus. As of tonight, Texas has a total of 623 ICU beds left open statewide. Some regions are either completely out of ICU beds or they are nearly running out. Here in North Texas, some counties have fewer than 10 ICU beds left. Local health officials are afraid it's only going to get worse, as our Brooke Katz found out earlier this evening. Across Texas Health Resources hospitals in North Texas, we now have over a thousand positive patients uh, in beds uh, and another several hundred uh, that are uh, people that are under investigation. Texas Health Resources at the fullest point with COVID patients since the pandemic started. CEO Barkley Berdan fears the worst is yet to come. What I'm worried about is where it's going to go uh, in the rest of January uh, because we aren't feeling the effects of travel and Christmas and Kwanzaa and New Year's right now. Could we get to the point where we see this affecting patient care because there's just not an alternative? Well, our plan is to not have it affect patient care and the, the nurses and other caregivers that we have um, in our hospitals uh, do not want that to happen, but we will get stretched. They're not alone. Hospital systems across the area stretch thin. According to the DFW Hospital Council for Dallas County, there are only 21 ICU beds open. For Tarrant County, only nine. I talked with Stephen Love, president of the council. Are we going to have enough time for this current surge to come down a little bit to make some room for this next wave of people, or do you think we're going to be completely overwhelmed? I think uh, I think it's going to it's going to continue to incrementally go up. So I think the entire month of January is going to be quite challenging from a hospital perspective. He says space and beds are not the issue so much as people. Staff already being pushed to the limit with little backup available to help out. You know, if you have a hurricane or you have an earthquake, you can move staff throughout the nation to come in and help you. There, there is little to no staff we can bring in because everyone is going through this. Brooke Katz, CBS 11 News.